What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the free-to-play account. Uh, we're still getting a healthy amount of gems, I'm still saving up these cores, I'm trying as much as possible to not spend them on a daily basis. Uh, but we're also getting very close to our second free Soul Awakening, and I don't know if I want to use it on the Eloise yet again. We actually have a spare Eloise copy this week, so we might use it on that one in case it rolls like really good and that we want to sell it off we'll have to see i don't know just yet but really the only thing we could grind out is interdimensional arena and as you guys know the more attacks you do in interdimensional arena during the same day the same 24 hour reset the price of the tickets just go up 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 so it's not really feasible we would literally have to win like what <laughs> like 470 points like 47 uh, it's just way too much it's way too much we'll just wait uh but today Today, today, we already have a bunch of sea lands taken care of. I want to see if we can make any progress with our Garuda. The one big thing we need to do is reset our guild tech because we have like so much invested into our rangers. And at this point, we're going to be moving past just the ranger faction. Uh, so we need to do some stuff now. We don't have a puppet just yet, a nine star. And I think this is just a basic one. Yeah, it's just a six star puppet here too. So we're we're kind of waiting. Hopefully next week's events have like some puppets that we can get free to play. That would be really, really sweet. Uh, the other thing is we can make some food, but it's a little, little tricky right now. We have a lot of hero copies here that we're just not going to use. I wish I could get the Vesta copies. I really wish I could. Because I really do think she's the best first E5 hero right now that you then transition and swap over to like a sword flash and a queen when you have the combo but okay so the first things first let's go into our guild tech because we just have way too much in our ranger tech the other thing is we also put some in mage for our ticks because at the time we're using our ticks for tower of oblivion i uh, might as well refund that for free ranger let's reset that for free too so let's get everything back in here quick um thank god thank god they have quick upgrade again man it would have been a pain to have to like do this manually like we used to. So many little features like this that they added to the game that you kind of just take for granted now. It's like, oh my god, I had to do that all the time. Yeah. So let's get over to our warrior tech next and let's max all this out here. Because the other thing is we do need to use our 10 attempts today. And honestly, we'll just see what our Garuda can do with what she's got. Looks good. Now, I'm almost thinking of doing some assassin tech for our, like, beyond just the health, but I think we're going to have to do some secondary tech. Let me do a little research real quick. So, the enemies that the forest faction face in the abyss faction are going to be warrior, priest, and ranger. The boss is ranger. The priests are the little ones. Um, honestly, I think what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the priest and where's the warrior? Or no, sorry, I said Ranger. Obviously, there's no Warrior. Uh, so we'll do Priest and this, and then we're just going to hold the rest open for now. We do have a decent amount of resources. We'll just wait, because these are the only two that are really going to help her in like a Sealand situation. We could do something else different too, but I think that's going to be good for now. Now, the other thing is gear. We already have a Ranger set that we can kind of like share with everybody. I think what I want to do is I want to make a warrior set, and I want to make it for Garuda. So let's go into Great Doors Blessing. Yep, class suit. Let's get ourselves our first set of warrior gear. And then let's also, can we actually upgrade it to resonance? I know it's going to mean taking a lot of gems and other suits of gear off of our total group here, but I kind of want to go for a warrior set. If we're going to be using warriors as well, I think that's worthwhile so we can just actually you no know, hold on wait hold on <laughs> I totally forgot about something we need to do hero resonance did any of the pieces hit her not at all that's not great um we do have 24 million oh there's a lot of warriors in the game guys let's see if we can hit this and get lucky we got transcendence heroes already oh my god <laughs> we're never building you on this account so there's no way we're keeping that that's just stupid Aspen or Asmodel just aren't happening Shaho might happen, but in reality, we need to go for, oh my god, Garuda's going to be impossible to find. 
I don't even know if we're going to have enough to do this, like, in general. <laughs> this is so bad. I might have to do this on my own time because this looks like it's going to take a lot of rolls and this system sucks. <laughs> It really, really, really sucks. Especially when you get Dantalian and Grooze and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, Lord, if you're asking me, we've got like, oh my God, stop it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll come back. I'll do this on my own time. I don't want to let you guys have to watch that nonsense right there. Um, we are going to give her the crown as well. I think that's going to be a good look for her. We'll just put some temporary stuff over here. So in case we forget, we still have some gear setups going on. And the other thing we need to look at is the supporting crew for our team here in the forest faction. We could just throw a bunch of heart watchers in. Olivia is going to be a solid one. Uh, we could use a bunch of five star Rogans. But again, that's going to take up bag space. And I don't want to take up bag space right now. Because we need to make food. Maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll do that. We probably need to upgrade this further too. Let's get it up to like a soul stone one at the very least. Crit attack is okay. Attack. Let's do one more. Please be good. Oh, attack attack. Holy damage. That is amazing. And we'll go with the HP node. We don't have unbending will, which is going to be part of the thing that kind of hurts her. But... Let's just see what we can do today. Because, I mean, this is going to give us more four-star shards by clearing out these levels, too. Uh, we got Livia, Heart Watcher. Let's just throw, like, a Rogan and, like, two more Heart Watchers in here. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to, like, really knock these out for a few levels. Maybe we'll be back in one minute. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's just try it again. Let's see if we can actually make some progress here now. All right, let's speed this up. I'm pretty sure her active is just going to melt everybody for quite a few levels here. We also have our star spawn, our whale one, up to like level 50 now as well, which is pretty solid. Yeah, they're not even able to like take out our team. So that's pretty good. We can challenge all 10 of ours today here in the forest faction. I imagine we're going to get to like 13, 14 at the highest. We might get stopped even before that, though. Oh, I should probably level the Heart Watchers up at least. Because they're not giving any of their passives or their Heart Watcher marks or any of that stuff. We got Fairy Guard. I think if we get Fairy Guard, we're good. If we don't get Fairy Guard, it might be a little risky. Let's actually do that. Let's, um... Where are you? Let's get the Rogan leveled up. That way we get all the passives. And let's get two of you guys leveled up too. It's just a little bit of resources. It's not like a ton that we're investing into them, but that is going to make it better because we're going to have more Heart Watcher marks out there and we're going to be getting that Warpath Roar passive effect too where you get the speed, the attack. Ooh, the speed actually means everybody gets to go first too by having that level 100. That's pretty solid. Get those Heart Watcher marks out and then Fairy Guard. Yes, Fairy Guard is huge to keep this Garuda alive to this active right there. And then she melts them. So let's go on at 12. I want more Olivia's. <laughs> like, Olivia's are so ridiculously strong. Especially if we gave Olivia's, like, energy too. Like, we had multiple Olivia's and gave them energy. That would be pretty sick. Fairy Guard, yes. And Des. So that's pretty good. Uh-oh. Not going to be strong enough for this one, though. We might be able to do it. Honestly, probably not going to happen. Like I said, if we had more Livias, we could just shrink everybody. <laughs> I like how you don't really notice the sped up animations on a lot of heroes until you look at Olivia and see how like her broom is like spazzing out pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the road. But we're using up these 10 attempts every single day to make sure we're progressing in our Soul Awakening Soul Temple as fast as possible for free to play. You know, we could just put energy artifacts on all them, too. And that would be even more damage and stuff. Nah, she's not strong enough yet. So that's not too bad. But we also get a bunch more of these, which means more elite heroes. And now we have a good amount of four stars that I can take out and summon today. So I'm going to do some food creation. We'll come back. Maybe we'll get her to E2. 
Maybe we'll decide to feed off the ticks. I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.